Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more Falcon 4 BMS. Today we're looking at the upfront controls. The upfront controls or UFC include the integrated control panel or ICP and the data entry display or DED. To use the UFC, set the communication, navigation, IFF or CNI switch on the auxiliary communications panel from backup to UFC. The ICP controls can be grouped in three categories, master modes, override modes and priority buttons. The master modes are air to air, air to ground, navigation, dogfight, missile override, selective jettison and emergency jettison. Air to air master mode is selected with the A-A button and air to ground with A-G. Navigation master mode is active when none of the air to air or air to ground modes are selected. The override modes are COM1, COM2, IFF, LIST and false acknowledgement. Note that IFF is not implemented in BMS. LIST is used to access additional DED subpages. To select an override mode, press the corresponding button. Press DCS return to return to the CNI page. There are 8 priority secondary buttons. TAC and ILS, Altitude Low, Steer Point, Cruise, Time, Mark Point, Fix and Altitude Calibrate. Fix and Altitude Calibrate are not implemented in BMS. The buttons provide direct access to DED pages. They are also used to enter numeric data in the DED scratch pad. The data command switch or DCS is a four way momentary switch. The up and down positions cycle the DED cursor to editable scratch pad functions. The left position is placarded return and returns the DED to the CNI page. The CNI page is the default DED page and displays the following information. The selected radio frequencies or presets for COM1 and COM2. The active steer point. The current time. IFF codes. And the active TACAN or DME if air to air TACAN is active. The active steer point can be increased or decreased using the previous next rocker switch. With sufficient airflow to the probes, press DCS sequence to display wind speed and direction. DCS sequence is used to enter subpages or to select options of the current function. The enter and recall buttons respectively confirm or cancel scratch pad data. If the data confirmed is valid, the scratch pad moves to the next field, otherwise the scratch pad will flash. Pressing the recall button once clears the last entry. Pressing the button twice clears the scratch pad. The mode select button is used to enter a numerical zero. It is also used to activate or deactivate items using the scratch pad. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. 